start again? Mm -hmm. Good. So, um, example of a problem. This is a real problem that I experienced. I told you I was te I, I am teaching sometimes in Italy, Sardinia. It's not a bad place to teach in spring, early spring. Um, well, we know that in our current world, even in Sardinia or China, people are using information technology wherever it's possible. There's even a computer in my shower. And uh, so, so we have all this, but still this doesn't solve all our problems. <coughs> So let you show me what, what happened when the first time I traveled to my teaching location in, at, at Sardinia, which is Algero. Um, I, I, I traveled to Algero by plane. I fly to Rome and then from Rome to Algero. And then I'm in the airport. And um, the airport, uh, well, there's lots of stuff here. So how should I find, well, maybe a bus? Is there a bus? How could I get a ticket for the bus? Well, this was not so easy, but looking around and asking, I found this one. And this is an interesting object, an interesting artifact, right? Because first of all, it's a machine and it says ticket. This is English, I can understand, even though I don't speak Italian. And I could probably put coins in. And, and it says here, Euro, 0.70, and then some code that I don't understand. And apparently many people didn't understand. So at a certain moment, somebody put a sticker on it. Ticket for bus to Algero. Aha. You see, this is what was not the original design. This was a redesign <laughs> by some friendly person who said, well, these people are always asking me, how can I get the ticket? So, and, and then there's this one. This is also stick on. And by the way, this one doesn't speak Dutch uh, or English, but it speaks Italian. Um, I, I can still more or less understand. And you can see that, that, that at a certain moment, people didn't know where the bus would go. So somebody redesigned the redesign. Mm -hmm. And had somebody put out put the money on it because apparently people still didn't understand it. You see what happened to you, right? There was nice technology, but it didn't work. Uh, and, and even well, finding this one in, in the hallway of, of the airport is not so easy, right? Why should you go? There's lots of stuff here. And uh, well, browse and find out. Actually, this is just one corner of the of the hall. So anyhow, so now. Once I'm in Algero, this is how the buses look like. This was bus Alpha. That's nice information to know, right? This is bus Alpha. So it tells me exactly what bus it is. <laughs> Where should the bus go? Well, actually, there's a map. And, and, and this is the map. Nice, isn't it? No street names. There, there's these nice colored lines. But, well, where can I find my hotel or my university? Now, actually, there has been a redesign. You can see maybe there's some sticky tape here. <laughs> At a certain moment, somebody tried to be helpful and, and redesigned the system, right? And, and put something here, a note saying, bus 5 will go to the center, bus 6 will go to the university, whatever. But, but it was not redesigned very well, but because even in Algeria, sometimes it rains, right? <laughs> and, and then the redesign was gone. Um, anyhow, I managed to go. And uh, by asking and, and by friendly Italians who try to speak English and <laughs> I not being able to speak Italian, we managed. So I went back to the airport. So how can I get a bus ticket? Well, this is where in town you can buy bus tickets. This is the flower shop. And the flower shop in Algero was the only location to <laughs> buy bus tickets. And, and when you ask how can I buy a bus ticket, this is how the flower shop looks, looks like. Charity's here, why not? Uh, this is how the flower shop looks like normally, at least when I am going there. And, and so at, at the, the desk at, at my hotel, I asked, when can I buy a bus ticket in the flower shop? And the hotel clerk said, I will call her to find out when she, whether she's open or not. Okay? <laughs> Interesting problems, right? We have it all well designed, but not completely. Okay. Um, now, this is what James Landy said. Systems will fail if it does not do what the user needs. It is inappropriate to the user. Apparently, I was a user of the bus system, and, and the system didn't help me. So why don't we just define what a good interface is? And say, well, there's an infinite variety of users and tasks. Some Italians know how to buy a bus ticket, and actually, they are clever enough to buy 10 at a certain moment. Uh, but, but, but foreigners who don't speak the language or don't know, they are lost, right? Uh, so guidelines are usually too vague. You find out people repaired the guidelines already. Um, so 
maybe we get the start anew 